Uganda may be closing in on a first appearance at the Africa Cup of Nations finals since 1978, but Crane's coach Martin Mitchell Sodevich is not getting carried away. Uganda could qualify with victory at home against Comoros during the first weekend of September. The Cranes will also take part in the 2018 World Cup qualifiers that get underway in October after the 20 countries still in the running are pulled in five groups on June 24th. Mitchell believes success can be achieved on two fronts. I believe once we are reaching Africa Cup of Nations in October, we are playing World Cup qualifiers in November, we could uh, really open new chapter and, and, and uh, uh, take Uganda football to another level that could change football forever and we could become something what we really want to. FIFA President Moses Magogo says the cranes are not under duress to qualify for any of the two tournaments. As FIFA, we are not part of the excitement. And we are not part of the mathematics classes going on. Seriously, I will, I will repeat myself. Our medium term goal is Project Cameroon 2019. Uganda's greatest battle could yet come off the pitch. National Council of Sports have given FUFA and other non compliant federations up to the end of this month to fulfill new regulations or else face the wrong arm of the law. FUFA says it won't comply. There were four issues that we raised, and we expect National Council to respond. And up to now, there has not been a response. So we are waiting. When they eventually respond, we shall proceed. And I take the opportunity to share the four issues. One is that there is a clashing in the opinion given by the Solicitor General and the FIFA level. Whereas the Solicitor General says that uh, FIFA cannot suspend us by undertaking the registration under the trustees. FIFA has written first in 2013 and said there is a clash which violates the FIFA statute. If FIFA fails to comply, it risks being deregistered by the National Council of Sports. The local football governing body says such an action will attract a ban from FIFA. Sam Mposa, NTV Sport.